Today we're going to do a service on the Toro SDX26. It's got the Kawasaki 26 horsepower engine. Do the easy stuff first. Air filters here. Remove your air filter cap, which is right here. And it's going to be two canister filters, your inner and then your outer. Go ahead and remove your old ones, put your new ones in. Make sure that your inner one is seated exactly where it needs to be and it doesn't push out the back of the housing right there. Uh, push them both in, and the new ones in, and then you're good to go. When you put on your um, outside case, you want to make sure that this valve, this thing right here, this black thing, is pointing in the downward position. Or in the upward position, you leave it outside and it rains, you can get water down in the engine. It's never any good. Then we'll go to oil. To drain your oil, what you're going to do is come down here underneath your fuel tank. Let me get a flashlight because I forgot to bring it. Underneath here, underneath your fuel tank, if you see that, um, that oil drain right there, um, this drain right here, okay, that's where all your engine oil comes out of. And I have one out right here. It's kind of what it looks like. And how to drain the oil is you see that little button right there. What you do is you twist the plastic and you pull the plastic out this way. So you twist it so that button goes here and then down here. And that separates the O-ring that's in here that allows the engine oil um, to bypass and drain from your engine. And there's a drain hose already stuck down here on your machine and drain the oil now. And that's how you drain the oil. Once you're done draining, you just do the opposite. You just close that valve and you can add more fluid. Your engine oil filter is down here. See that black circle thing right there. To check and add your oil, there's that yellow cap that everything seems to be in the way. The yellow cap right there. That's where you add and check your fluid. And when you check your fluid, you unscrew it like so, okay? You just set it on the top. You don't screw it in and then you pull it out and that's how you check your measurement on the Kawasaki's. Let me see if you can see it. It's pretty easy, it's got a full line and a low line. You just wanna be right there to that full line right there, the top bubble. And you fill it up with 10W30 gasoline engine oil. It takes about two quarts. Do yourself a favor. Fill it up with a quart and a half first and then fill up as needed to the top. You don't want to put in too much because then you have to drain it and it's kind of a pain. So we're done with oil. We're done with air. Do your spark plugs. Where is this spark plug right here? So this spark plug right here is in past this, the engine, so if you see it right there, go ahead and pull that um, coil, your module off, and expose your spark plug, and remove your spark plug, put your new spark plug in. There's another spark plug on the direct opposite side of the engine, and the fuel filter is on the other side. Oh, when you put on your new oil filter, fill it up with oil first, let it drain in, and then take uh, some oil rub around the black o-ring when you install it on your engine fuel filters right here this little clear thing right here Just take it off there's a clamp there clamp there separate the hose tape the hoses off it and install your new fuel filter there is a directional arrow on these fuel filters so you want to make sure that the arrow is going pointing in the same direction the fuel is flowing so as of here it's coming from the tank going to your engine so in this particular case the arrow should be pointing up for hydraulic fluid and hydraulic filter, you're gonna have to take off this cap right here. There's a black cap, there's three bolts hold it on, remove that. And this black thing right here is your hydraulic filter. And it's also where you add your hydraulic fluid. So you unscrew this with a, uh, a ratchet, you pull it out and that's your whole hydraulic filter. So when you replace the hydraulic filter, you replace this whole thing, the cap and everything. And if you need to add hydraulic fluid to your machine, you pull that hydraulic filter up and you add it in this port right here. Okay, you know how much hydraulic fluid you need in your machine. There's a little bubble check thing right here on the side. Should be clear. A lot of times they get fuzzy or foggy and you can't see, so you need to replace it as foggy. The fluid level should be to the level that you can actually see it 
um, through this little sight glass right here. So as you can see, there's no fluid in the sight glass, so the hydraulic fluid is low. So I'm going to add hydraulic fluid to it to get it up to where it needs to be. Uh, grease fittings, grease points, I forget okay. exactly how many are on this, but they're all located in basically one area. The most important one is right here on this bearing right there. Yeah, you want to grease that one pretty much every time you use your machine because that bearing takes a lot of beating. The other one's 8 to 10 hours, every 8 to 10 hours, but this one you probably want to do every time you use the machine. So you got one there, side of the machine. There's one in there on that joint right here. There is, I believe, two on the front side of the cylinder. There's one here, and I think there's one at the bottom, down here on the bottom of this pin, or is it in here? Might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure there's two. One here. There is one that you can't really see right now, but down here, I'm gonna put my hands. There's a, a pivot point down here, and there's a, a grease fitting on this pivot point. There's one right there. There is one right there. And then the fun one to do is the one for your idler pulley. And that is down here, you gotta remove that uh, bottom uh, cover. Look way back there, you see that grease fitting pointing at you? It holds your uh, idler pulley. You wanna grease that too. After that, you're pretty much done. Now I forgot to mention, when you do your fuel filter, there's a little valve right here, a little red valve. Close your valve before you change your fuel filter. That just stops the fuel from coming and spilling all over the place as you're trying to put the new fuel filter in. Then once you get your new fuel filter in and um, the clamp's on, then go ahead and open the valve back up or you won't be able to start your machine.